Hi everybody, welcome to another YDF Live show. My name is Stephen Aitchison, creator of YourDigitalFormula.com, a programme to help you live your passion, grow your tribe and build your business. On that topic, we're going to be talking about business today and what it's really about. So you know the YDF Live show is all about kind of online business and how you can grow a business, grow your, grow your platform, grow a tribe and kind of everything incorporated with doing an online business. And we've got our last live training coming up. I just want to mention that off the bat. The link is above. And um, we've got the last live training until September 2017. And it's going to tell you the three secrets of kind of growing your tribe. That's really what it's about. And kind of that's what we'll be talking about today about growing your tribe and your kind of business as well. Um, so if you click the link above, you'll be able to get on the live training. And that's tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'm going to be up till about 2 o'clock in the morning, my time, um, doing this live training. And Maria Flynn's going to be helping me in the background, which is brilliant. Um, couldn't do it without Maria. So, what business is really all about? Quick story. So, when I first started doing the online business, I've told the story before, but it's worth reiterating again. When I first started the online business, I was all about how can I get money? How can I make more money? How can I get money so I can give up my full-time job? How can I make more money? When I started making a lot of money, then I would I would have to put more out because I would uh, have to get a bigger hosting package for my website or I would have to kind of buy certain software to kind of start making even more money. So I was always kind of investing in other programs and investing back into the business as well. But I kept on asking that question, how can I get more money? What's the next big idea? Where's the next big idea coming from? And I would always try these different things. And um, when I seen on a warrior forum, I would always buy these kind of programs, say, okay, that's the next thing. That's what's going to really help my business take off. And really, it totally changed when I stopped asking the question, how can I make more money? To how can I help more people? When you ask the question, how can I help more people? you're changing your focus away totally from yourself. When you're asking a question, how can I make more money? What you're doing there is you're saying to yourself, I've not got enough money, how can I make more? You're asking that question. And in certain circumstances, that would be a good question to ask. But what you're doing there is you're focusing on the lack of money that you have just now in your business. Totally focusing on that. And you know when you focus on something, you're going to get more of it. So if you focus on how can I make more money, you're focusing on lack of money and you're going to get more lack of money. You can get more lack of money, but you're not going to make as much money as you possibly could. But when you change it, when you totally turn it around and say, okay, how can I help more people? How could I help more people kind of change their lives? How could I empower people to change their lives? And when you change to that question, that one question alone, and I truly mean this, asking yourself that one question alone and really taking it to heart is going to change the way you do business online. And that's what the live training on Thursday is all about. It's going to show you how you can reach more people. It's going to show you how you can grow that tribe that you need to grow as well. So you empower them, so they're going to go on and empower other people as well and that is truly the essence of business when you focus on how many more people you can help instead of how much money you can make you're taking the focus away from the lack of money to helping more people and a strange thing happens you start to find that people start to seek you out and ask what programs have you got what books have you got have you got online training do you do coaching you start to find that happens when you figure out and ask yourself the question, how can I help more people? And it truly does work. It's been working for me for the last, it must be since I started truly asking and really kind of getting it deep inside me and really thinking about this question, how can I help more people? And you're not just asking for the sake of asking, how can I help more people? You're truly asking the question so you can figure it out, so your subconscious mind can marinate on that question and bubbles up to the surface, kind of the answers, how you could help more people. So I was asking this the other day for the YDF tribe, for the YDF people, um, 
and the YDF tribe people who bought the, the YDF program already were saying, how could I help them more? How could I help them make more money? So it wasn't about me making money. It was about how can I help the YDF tribe members make more money? And it just so happens that I went along to a BNI meeting and I came up with this idea about YDF local business. And I thought, that's brilliant. That's going to help them make more money if they wish, just to get money in so they're working on their dream business. At the same time, they can help other kind of businesses grow as well. And this is now going to be part of the YDF program. It's called YDF Local Business. So you can make your money back within 30 days if you join the YDF program. And that's what it's all about. But that came about from asking a question, how can I help the YDF tribe members? What can I give to them to so they can start making money while they're working on their dream kind of business? And that's really what you're doing just now. If you're working for an employer, hopefully you're just working for your employer just to get money in. But hopefully at the same time you're working on your dream business. And then you go part time in your employment and you, you grow your kind of dream business and then you kind of go, you leave your full-time job and go full-time online. That's usually kind of the process, how it works. So it all comes, it all stems from that one question. How can I help more people? So I'm asking you that question. How can you help more people with the knowledge that you have? And everybody's got knowledge. It doesn't matter if it's knitting. It doesn't matter if it's motorcycles. It doesn't matter if it's cars. It doesn't matter if it's breeding mice, you have more knowledge than you could possibly imagine. And as knowledge that people are willing to pay for, it's knowledge that people are going to come to you and say, could you coach me in this? Have you got a training program in this? Have you got a book on it? You've got so much knowledge that you don't even realise you've got the knowledge. And when you start asking the question, how can I help more people? Then you have to figure out, okay, to, to help more people, I've got to be able to grow my platform. And that means growing your Facebook page, growing your YouTube channel, growing your Instagram kind of channel, for example, or starting a live show on Facebook. And that is what the YDF program is all about. But behind it all, behind the YDF program, is all about how many more people can you help in the world. And really the YDF program is part of a movement. I've not started the movement. I'm just part of a bigger movement to kind of empower other people to grow their businesses in order to empower even more people. So I might help 300 people in the YDF tribe, 300 people that have bought the YDF program already or invested in the YDF program. But really what that's doing is that is touching maybe 3 million people. So the 300 people are touching, in essence, 3 million people around the world. So you're creating that ripple effect and then they'll go on to help even more people. So it could be 30 million, could be 300 million people that are being touched as a direct result of kind of what I'm teaching as well. And people do their own, start to do their own things as well. So it's about um, creating that or being part of that bigger movement. And it's a conscious kind of business. And that's what you're doing. It's a conscious kind of business you're doing whereby you're thinking about people first rather than thinking about money first. And I believe every single one of us can start, but every single one of us has got knowledge in order to be able to create a business online. And I'm honestly really passionate about that. That's what, that's what I love talking about. And when people come to me and say, I've not really got anything that I could offer. Yeah, you have. You, you, de you definitely have. You've just not given yourself enough credit to the amount of knowledge that you've got. And that's truly what business is all about. <clears throat> And something weird happens as well. When you kind of start a business or when you kind of grow your business online and you start talking to people, if you're doing a live show or if you're doing a blog post or if you're doing kind of lots of blog posts, people are going to start to come to you with questions. And this is when you truly figure out that you know more than you think. So when people start coming to you with questions and you start answering them, then you realise, okay, I've, I've actually got a bit of knowledge. I, I really know what I'm talking about here. And that's when you start to realise you've got more knowledge than you believe you have just now. And all of us have that in some kind of area of our lives. Whether it be personal development, whether it be business, whether it be breeding mice. I don't, I don't know why breeding mice is coming up, but it just came into my head. Um, so you have the knowledge to do this. And my job, my purpose in life is to show you how to reach more people 
in order to empower more people. So it's a win, 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 win all around. It's all about kind of winning. So when you invest in the YDA program, and that's what I'm giving you, and then you go on to give others, hundreds, thousands, millions of others as well. And I think collectively, we, we kind of tot it up, collectively all the YDF members have, I think, over 30 million followers between them. I think it was over 30 million or something like that. No, sorry, 10 million. The reach um, we worked out is about 150 million people around the world. That's 2% of the world's population nearly, or close to 2% of the world's population. So we kind of did a quick audit, very quick audit, um, of the kind of people in the YDF group. We looked at the pages, we looked at how many followers they had, and we looked at the reach as well, and it worked out about 150 million reach, 150 million people around the world was the reach, and about 10 million kind of followers between us all. I think it's actually a slightly more than that, um, but that was a very quick audit of the kind of bigger pages and the kind of members in the YDA program. So that's how much an effect it can have, and that's we're creating that movement, and that's why I'd love for you to join me on Thursday, which is tomorrow, at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, I'm aware, I'm just going to see if we've got any questions. Here, if you've got any questions at all, just let me know, and Maria's going to kind of put them in the background for me on uh, Skype. So, yeah, if you have any questions at all about that, um, and thinking about the business, what business could you kind of do online? Or you probably thought about it already, you've just had that fear and you've not overcome that fear of just kind of doing it and just taking action and taking the first step to doing your business online. But ask yourself the question every single day, multiple times a day, how can I help more people? And what you'll find is when you're in the shower, when you're out walking, when you're at the gym, gym's a good place, when you're at the gym, when you're taking the dog for a walk, answers will start to kind of bubble up into your conscious mind. Because you put that question to your subconscious and the universe is going to show you kind of some answers. It's going to give you signs. It's going to say, here's a couple of signs for you. This is what you could do. And it's up to you whether you take that action. And it's up to you whether you invest in yourself or not. Invest in your business. Invest in yourself. And invest in other people as well. Because ultimately, everybody in the YDF tribe Everybody is trying to help other people. I don't think there's one business member in the YDF tribe who's not about helping other people. Their business is not solely focused on just making money. And what we've found is any YDF kind of member that's came in and their sole kind of purpose is just to make money, they've kind of ultimately left the YDF program. There's only been a few because we, we try and make sure the message is right for the right people. But there's been a few who are just kind of just all about making the money and they've subsequently left the YDF program because it wasn't a right fit, because they weren't heart centered. It was all about just making money. And that's not what business is all about. And the sooner you realize that, the sooner your kind of business will grow, the sooner the more kind of ideas you'll come up with your business, for your business as well to help more people. And as I said, it's because your energy totally changes when you ask the question, how can I help more people? Because you're not focusing on yourself and you're not focusing on the lack of money. You're focusing on the bigger picture. You're focusing on other people. And that's when something starts to change within you. When you can do that, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And that's how I've grown this business as well. How can I help more people? Just that one question alone. And that one question alone can totally change your life can totally change your business, can totally change anything in your life as well if you ask that one question. So I'm just going to see, I don't think we have any questions at the moment, but I'll just um, look at some comments. Uh, Maria Flynn, YDF members reach 150 million people around the world. Amazing. That is pretty amazing. In actual fact, I think it's more than that. <clears throat> I do think it's much more. But I was trying to think of the figure in my head when we last looked at it a couple of weeks ago. And I think it's much more than that. My page alone reaches 50 million people. 50 million people from one page. So all the uh, YDF members collectively um, reach about 150 million people, but I'm sure it's much bigger than that, uh, Maria. So it is pretty amazing when you think about it. Um, 
I'll just see Darling Dawn keeps losing connection. So I'm just looking at the right Catherine Cox, how can I help more people instead of how can I make more money? Definitely, yeah. So you're just kind of reiterating um, that as well. You're just letting everybody know. So thanks for that, Catherine. I appreciate you putting that up. And it does, it truly makes a difference. I mean, you take it to heart. Um, when you really take it to heart, you don't just ask the, qu the question, how can I help more people? But you don't truly live it. You've got to kind of live it and breathe it and think about it. And that's when the, the answers will start to come to you. I truly will start to come to you. Um, Marina uh, Zomik is saying wow and thank you very much for joining us and thanks for your comments there as well. I don't think uh, questions are sticking. No, the questions are sticking. The comments are sticking again. It's not done that for a while. Yeah, can't get to see. Tina Georgette Martin, with your business you truly have to out your heart and soul uh, put put your heart and soul into everything you do and with others. Yeah, that's really what it's about, Tina. And when you truly get that, when you get it that you have to put your heart and soul into it because when you put your heart and soul into your business, obviously that's going to come across. It's really going to come across to other people as you being a genuine and authentic person and that's when people are attracted to you. Now, I've talked about kind of push marketing and pull marketing as well. When you do something from the heart, when you do it with authenticity, when you do it with a from a place of being genuine and you, you're truly passionate about what you're talking about, people are attracted to you. That's called pool marketing. So you might, might not be marketing in the true marketing sense of the word. You might be, just be talking about something like I'm talking about just now, but people are attracted to your message and they want to find out more. So they start Googling who the hell is Stephen Aitchison or who's Stephen Aitchison or they're typing Stephen Aitchison and they'll see the blog, they'll see the kind of YDF program, they'll see the positive life affirmations, they'll see all the different programs that you've got as well or they'll just come out and ask you direct, they'll just PM you and just say, have you got a book, have you got a business, have you got coaching, have you got this, have you got that? That is called pool marketing because you're doing it from a place of authenticity. When you're push marketing, that's when people um, are repelled from you to be honest because everybody knows about the pushy salesman and we're all turned off by that it used to work in the past it doesn't doesn't now a different world altogether now marketing and it's authentic marketing that's what I call it so it's authentic marketing and when you do authentic marketing that's when your kind of business changes as well now it's not going to happen overnight you're not going to grow nobody's ever created a, a business overnight and really got it up and running overnight. You're not going to get rich quick with this. This is about your long-term future. If you're starting any business, you don't expect just to be in business for two months. So why would you start a business and thinking, right, I'm not make, making money and then give up after two months? You've got to look at it from the long-term point of view. And that's when you're asking, how can I help even more people? How can I help even more people? How can I help people help other people as well? And it's just that big, huge ripple effect around the world as well. And that's what the YDF members are doing. They're asking that question. They're doing bigger things in the world as well. And it's just brilliant to see. I've got a couple of questions here. Um, Thelma Donovan, uh, does an individual have to pay money out to start an online business? If not, then how do we go about doing so? There's always kind of money involved. You can't expect to do any type of business if you're not willing to invest in a business. Because what you're really saying to yourself is, okay, I'm not willing to invest in my business. I want to do it all for free. So you're not really taking it serious. If we're, if we're being really honest, I'm just going to be honest here, um, Thelma. So you have to invest in yourself first, like your training, like the YDF program. Invest in someone. And really when you're looking for someone to invest in, what you have to do is look at someone who is doing what you wish to be doing right now. So say, for example, you want to kind of start an online business and you want to start it in the kind of guitar niche, for example. And you want to teach people how to play the guitar. That is your kind of thing, just say, for example. So you look at somebody who's doing that already, who's making money from it, who's doing the kind of thing you want to do online from a place of genuine, uh, being genuine and authentic. And you look at them and model what they're doing or go directly to them for coaching or if they've got a program, and buy that program and that's what YDF is all about you know 
kind of me already, obviously. Um, and you know kind of what I do online and you've seen the kind of type of marketing that I do. And hopefully it comes across as being authentic. I'm saying hopefully. <laughs> if it does, then you, you've got, we've got that pool marketing going on. We're, we're de developing a relationship. Like on this YDF Live show, I've de developed kind of relationships just with people coming on the show. And that happens all the time, every day as well. So from that point of view, you have to invest in yourself and you have to invest in your business as well. You could do it for free. There's certain ways to do it for free, but you're better investing in the proper programs and the proper platforms from the outset. You don't have to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, to start a blog, for example, if you want to start up writing, that's how I started. You just spend $10 to get a domain name, maybe $13 a month or $10 a month for the hosting and you start writing. That's all you do. You just start writing and then you'll grow and grow from there. And once you start getting money in, you invest more in the business. You invest more in yourself and your training, for example. So I hope that helps, Thelma. Um, and I don't mean to put you down at all. I'm just saying I just want to be honest and, and open with you. Um, Maria Flynn, it's time for people to give um, themselves permission to rise up and at the very least invest in learning more about how they can contribute to the world. Totally, totally believe that, um, Maria. Um, it's about, and you've made a good point there as well, a lot of people keep it as a dream. So they keep hold of this dream inside of them. Oh, I'd love to start an online business. I'd love to write a book. I'd love to kind of start a blog. And then they've got all these buts after it. But, 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 but. I don't have the technical knowledge. Uh, I'm not a good writer. Um, I'm too old. Um, I've not got enough time, for example. It's because you've not prioritised that. You've not prioritised your dream. And when you don't prioritise your dreams, nothing's going to happen. You're going to keep on dreaming. And that's all it is. It's just a, a kind of wishful thinking type of dream. But when you start taking action and look at your butts and start taking action on your butts or get up off your butt and start taking action, that's when things will start to happen for you. So good point, Maria. Um, Stella Maris, Mwangi. YDF is such an inspiration. Thanks, Steve. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you saying that. Um, Tammy Huta, I think your first investment would be time. It would be. And that would be your very first kind of investment because your first investment in yourself would be time because you're looking at the kind of mentors that you're really looking for and doing what, um, kind of emulating them or kind of, yeah, just emulating them and seeing what they're doing and try and get as, learn as much as possible from them as well. And maybe start that blog, maybe start writing that book, maybe start the online business as well. So time is an investment as well. A comment from Lorraine Emmett. It's often when people start coming to you with questions and you find yourself getting really excited about helping them in one particular area that you realise where your true passion lies. It has certainly caused me to change direction. Brilliant, perfect idea as well. And YDF came about because of that, Lorraine, as well. As you know, I've told a story. People kept on coming to me, asking me loads of questions about growing a Facebook page and growing a business online. And this is how the YDF programme came about. And now it's created this much bigger, it's much bigger than myself. This is not about me. And this business is not about me. It's about something much bigger than me. I'm only kind of a tiny wee cog in that wheel that's helping push that process on. Um, but questions from other people are going to make you realise um, what you're really passionate about as well. So brilliant point, Lorraine. Lies La Bonita, every time I watch it live, feels like it brings me closer and closer to realisation of the picture and answers of my long-term motto and goal in life. How can I be a blessing to others? Definitely enrolling to YDF program is one step I could rely to fill, fulfill my goal. Excellent. And that's a beautiful kind of way to say it. How can I be a blessing to, to help others? To others? How can I be a blessing to others? So I like that, Laisla. And I can see you in the YDF program. I can definitely see you in there sometime when the time is right um, for you. And obviously we're going to be closing the doors to um, new YDF members on the 29th of March. And that's why this training is going to be so important. So if you've not signed up for the training yet, click the link above um, this video and you'll see the link to join the training for tomorrow. It's totally free. So why not? <clears throat> why not do it? Um, Catherine Cox, is there a monthly payment plan option to become a YDF member? There's not a monthly one. There's a three payment option, Catherine, where you can get it for at the special price just now. It's normally 997 for the full programme. 
Just now we've got a 797 and there's three payments of 297. So there's the option to do that. Um, we can put the link up for you um, as well. I know you've been thinking about this as well, um, Catherine, for a long time. And we might have another link for $97 for 12 months. But obviously in the longer run, it's more expensive if you kind of spread it over. Um, it's definitely more expensive. But if that helps you, just PM myself or Maria Flynn and we'll get your link for that as well at $97 a month for 12 months. So we can certainly do that for you if that helps you, um, Catherine. I know you've been thinking about it for a while and that's why I'm kind of offering you that. Or I would just say no, there's not an option for a, a monthly payment plan. Um, comment from Vanessa and I do. I want to invest in YDF programs so I can take the non-profit organisation message that I'm doing to the rest of the world. I need to learn how to go about this vision. And I think it's good for that as well, for non-profits as well. So this is not just about making money, but it's um, making people more aware of your non-profit organisation and what they can do. Um, and obviously it can definitely help with that as well, Vanessa. Um, Nelly Davis, is there a monthly payment plan for YDF? That's just a, a similar question. Yeah, I think what we'll do, if you're really interested in a YDF programme, you want to get in before it cuts off to um, new members, I'll put the link up for the monthly option. Um, I'll do that for you. So, so it's over 12 months and you can get it for $97 a month. So I'll put that up for you as well. Um, I don't think I've got that just now. I'm just going to see if I've got that option just now. We, didn't, um, we took that down and just made a three payment option. But if people are asking for it. That's kind of telling me something um, as well. So I'm going to put a link up just now if people are interested in the 12 payment plan. Right, so that's the link up there just now. So I hope that helps for Nelly um, and Catherine as well and anybody else that's looking to get into the YDF program before it closes off to new members. Michelle Hastings, I'm a new business owner for product I have created. Where do I sign up for YDF? I've just put a link up there just now. Um, we'll do, I'll do another link for the three payment um, kind of option as well, we've got that as well coming up for you. I'll just um, share that with you just now. Um, so there's one payment or three times payment option. I'll just do a live just now. Just so put that up for you as well. Um, Michelle, I hope that helps. Tammy Smith, what format does a person start a blog? Um, you would first kind of look at WordPress. Um, you have to buy your domain name, get hosting for your domain name, and then install something called WordPress. And uh, on your domain and your CP on your cPanel, you'll be able to install WordPress with one click. And you can Google that and search it. Obviously, I have no time to show you exactly how to do that. And um, it's something we show you in the program as well. But you could do that yourself as well, Tammy. Uh, coming from Catherine Cox, according to what I've heard and seen from Maria, YDF not only benefits others in the area of business and self-development, but also benefits yourself. Totally, yeah, and I kind of, I don't mention that a lot <clears throat> as well because you being a business owner or you being, or you want to create your business online as well, there's a certain mindset you have to have, there's certain beliefs that you have to have as well. So you really need to have kind of a belief within yourself in order to get over the fear and get over that kind of imposter syndrome because most people who are looking to help others they have something called imposter syndrome where who the hell am I to help other people? Who the hell am I to teach other people? And a lot of people ask themselves that question so you have to get over that fear as well and we teach that in the program as well the five beliefs that you need to have or the six beliefs that you need to have as an entrepreneur because we're all entrepreneurs that's what we are every single one of us as a potential entrepreneur. In fact, we're all entrepreneurs in different ways. Um, so, yeah, it's about helping yourself because it gives you the confidence as well. Because once you start growing your platform, Catherine, what happens is people start to come to you and they'll look up to you and see you as somebody who has the answers for them as well. Obviously, you're not going to have all the answers. But over time, you'll start to gain even more confidence and even more knowledge because you're so passionate about a topic, you automatically start to learn about it in your own life and you have even more knowledge to give as well. Um, so that's a brilliant thing from that point of view. So yeah, you're right, uh, Maria's right. It's not just about kind of helping others. 
is about giving you that confidence within yourself as well. Um, Tammy Hooters saying WordPress is actually what WordPress is called. Um, yeah, so WordPress we're talking about there. And I think that's it just now. If you're still on the fence, I know a lot of people here have been talking about joining the YDF program for a while now. Um, so it'll be good to see you in um, the YDF tribe and see you in the group. We've got a secret group as well, and it's an amazing, supportive group. Probably one of the best groups I've ever been in. I'm not saying that just because it's my program, but it really is one of the best groups on Facebook, I think, the most supportive groups for entrepreneurs. Um, Catherine Cox, I already have people coming to me, Stephen. It feels great. See, and that's what happens. So the bigger you grow your platform, you're going to get more people coming. And that's when you say, OK, everybody's asking me that question. I think I need to develop or write a book on that or develop a product from all these questions because you have the answers. And that's how business starts to run. But you're starting it from the point of view, how can you help more people? But then you get all this feedback and you get all these questions and you get these people looking up to you and asking you questions. You go, shit, I could write a product on that or write a book on that or do a membership site on that and you start making money. But it's not about making money initially, it's about helping people. And that's the beautiful thing about it. And it's just a simple switch from how can I make more money to how can I help more people. Very simple switch, but it makes a huge, huge difference in your business. <clears throat> Maria Flynn, best group on Facebook, it is. I honestly believe that. Uh, if I was in there as a member, I would definitely say it is one of the best groups on Facebook. If you ask a question in the group, you'll probably get a response within two minutes. Um, and it's brilliant from that. And we've only got 300 members in. So you might be in other groups where you get a response within two minutes, but they, they might have 10,000, 100,000 kind of members. We've got 300 members, and they're all there to kind of support each other. And that's what it's all about. OK, I think I've been on um, for about half an hour. I have 35 minutes. I've gone over time. So if you want to find out more, join the programme just now. You know what it's all about, if you kind of know about it already. If not, and you want to learn a wee bit more, um, join the live training that I've got tomorrow, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Link's above this video, and you'll get that just now. And you can just register just now for it as well. And that will give you more information. But when you join the, um, the actual live training, think of it from the perspective of how can I help more people? So it's not just about business. It's about helping people as well. And like Catherine says there, it's really about helping yourself as well. When you start to run a business, you gain so much more confidence within yourself and you start to get over a lot of other fears as well. So that's it. Until, in fact, one more We'll leave it with this, um, Darlene Dawn. Um, this program will not only benefit what you want to do, but I find it benefited so many other areas of life. That's just what I was saying there, Darlene. You gain confidence, you do things you think you can, you never could, and you find yourself happier in so many ways. Brilliant. That, that's a perfect way to end this um, YDF Live show. So thank you very much, Darlene. I um, really appreciate you saying that. Um, and it's true. It's true as well. You just It has a knock-on effect in every area of your life. So that's a perfect way to end that. So, whatever you're doing today, have a brilliant day. Remember to sign up for the live training tomorrow and I'll see you tomorrow again. So, have a brilliant day, whatever you're doing, and namaste. Take care. Bye now.